What sort of character is Labette, the man you're portraying in this film? Um, well, take a look. You can see he's um, a pretty rugged character. He's a, a trapper, um, an international trapper, if you like. He doesn't necessarily belong to Canada or British Columbia. I think he's the sort of person who, regardless of where he was in the world, um, would behave in the way he does behave. He's unused to civilization, he's unused to people, he's unused to coming in contact with human beings. He's much more at home with um, horses and wolves and bears and things like this. And because of this, his attitude towards people and towards civilization is, is that of an animal, um, which makes it interesting. I know that you worked hard to get this French-Canadian accent for the film, but how did you go about it? Because it's totally unlike the French spoken in Paris today, for example. Yeah. Um, George Brown um, came to Canada before we started the film and collected um, several tapes which she sent back to me, and I played over and over again and listened to um, I got, you want to put that down my throat? You're like a dentist. Um, and uh, we worked on these tapes, and then I went over to Montreal and spent five days in Montreal going around the docks and into the pubs and talking to the French Canadians there. In actual fact, we hired one to, uh, to sit in my room and, uh, and read with a French Canadian accent for hours on end. I think he got tired than I did. Now, this is your first film with Rita Touchingham. How do you find her as a person? Oh. This is a question that when actors are asked, they're um, inclined to be full of clichés about the sort of answer they give. They, um, which is not the most fantastically classical, beautiful woman that, um, that, that England has ever produced, but um, she is, and I mean this, fantastic. She's got a pair of eyes that I would like to go swimming in. Um, that, I know, sounds like a cliché, but uh, I can't do that um, because her husband's um, around the place, and I think he's a pretty good swimmer too, plus my wife wouldn't like it. Well, uh, I don't really know why this reminds me of fighting, but um, I know for some reason that tough eggs are always trying to pick fights with you. Have you been in any fights since you've been in Canada? No, I've had, um, I've had one or two close shades. I don't think the Canadians are, are used um, to my beard and long hair, hair. Maybe in England they're used to the Beatles, and so um, it's not so fantastic that somebody should have long hair, but um, one or two remarks are passed.
in. you not to shout inside the house. May I go for the mail? No. Please, Mother. I said no. Please. Our new piano will have come, too. Not with the riffraff that will be on the docks today. But, Mother. I said no. I've told you time and again, we don't mix with those people. All right. Where's Eve? Outside. Eve? I've been calling you. There'll be mail for us. I want you to go and get it. And I want some thread. Blue thread. Mind you, don't forget. Fifteen wolf, eight lynx, one bear. All right? Fifteen lynx, eight wolf, one... Oh, hello, Evie. Come to beat the boat, have you? I'll come with you. Watch them. They'll cheat us if they can. Yes, sir. All right, child. <laughs> Come on, come on. Come on. She obeyed Evie from the east. Their husbands to be have bailed them out. They paid their fines and their passages with a guarantee of marriage. They're waiting for the preacher now. Be glad you're not one of them. So, this is it. Yes? And none the worse for wear. The end of my peace and quiet at home. <laughs> Come and have a drink. <laughs> it's for the traitor's daughter. The darn things cost a fortune. And my daughter can't play a note. <laughs> I'll drink a friend. Forget your worries. <laughs> well, Eve. Evie. And how's my little silent beauty, eh? Ah, you've grown a woman over the winter. A fine young woman. I expect my wife sent her down for the mail. Aye, and mail she shall have. Ah, there you are. Oh, there's nothing for you, my child. Maybe one next year. Do you think she'll ever speak? Guess not. Damn murdering Blackfoots. Across the border, wasn't it? Montana. Ten years ago, this coming Christmas Eve. The whole lot were trussed up and burning like roast pigs. Children as well. And her mother, nailed to a wall, dying. And Evie, hidden under a bench, saw everything. No wonder she was struck dumb. Gather around, friends. Come along, come along. Huh? All right. 
right now, gather round. The brides are ready to be claimed by their prospective husbands. Then we proceed directly to the church. Now this is um, Abigail of Saunders, widow, born Providence, Rhode Island, of Ebenezer Saunders and Mary Locke. Found guilty of immoral earnings in the city of Baltimore on the 10th May last year. Bound over in March to Joshua Turnbull on guarantee of ship passage to Vancouver and subsequent marriage. Your mark uh, here, Mr. Turnbull. First command, and, and the clerk's alone. Hey, wait, wait! Hey, there's half the bottle left! Jean? Who you been? Some Indians told me you were dead. They said old Adam had got you. Two winters now. Old Adam Bear. <laughs> It'd take more than some old grizzly bear to finish all of that. But he's smart, my friend. Smart like fox. But it'd take a fox to catch a fox, huh? Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> Arctic fox. Some white, by gosh. White. Like snow. On guarantee of shipment to Vancouver and subsequent marriage. Uh, come on, Sydney. Sydney. Then Stone must tell his credit. Lop it! You told me he was dead. Last year and the year before. I paid you gold to tell me. Master getting captions. Yellow dog and no name. Never say him dead. Only say him gone from old camp. You damn liar! <laughs> come on, the thread's over there. What color? Blue. It's on the top shelf. Get it. What's it worth? to do. <laughs> quiet, quiet, everybody, quiet, please, quiet. Now, listen carefully. The man who bought this woman died before she got here. She's already paid for, so highest bidder takes her. Now, she's not young, but she's sound of limb and can do a hard day's work. She's got a child with her. Who wants that? Makes her even more desirable. Shows she ain't barren. <laughs> Now, I'll need an opening bid to get things started. Will somebody make me an opening bid? I'll set off with $30. $30. $30. $30. Do I hear $35? $35. $35. $35. Do I hear $40? $40. $45. I am bid $45. Do I hear $50? Do I hear $50? $50. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55. $55
Fifty-five dollars. Fifty-five. Do I hear sixty? Do I hear sixty? Sixty dollars. Sixty-five. Sixty-five dollars. Sixty-five. I'm bid sixty-five dollars. Do I hear seventy? Do I hear seventy dollars? Seventy dollars. Seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five dollars. I'm bid seventy-five dollars. Will anybody pay one hundred dollars for this good woman? One hundred. Will somebody pay one hundred dollars for this fine, mature woman? Seventy-five. It is then to this good man. Going, going, gone. One hundred dollars. Oh, you're too late. For one hundred dollars, she's mine. The bidding's closed. She sold to this man. My money's as good as his. Better. Hey! Hands off! Hold it! Hold it! That's enough, Trapper. The bidding is over. <laughs> Don't bring me another one, Captain. You'll have to wait till next year, if you have the money. Seven hundred and fifty American dollars in advance. Seven hundred. Two hundred and fifty to release her from prison. Five hundred for her passage. Then make her a young one, Captain. A young, strong one who can work hard. And make plenty of good children. I will pay you tomorrow. Run on home, child. This is no place for you. The traitor. Where is he? He's in his office, but he's busy. Get him. I said he's busy. Get him. <laughs> There's a trapper outside, a huge brute with a big black beard. Says he wants to see you. Yes, I, I know. Are you all right, sir? Yes, I'll, uh, I'll be out in a minute. My friend, you're not pleased to see me, hmm? Come, see what I bought for you. Where'd these come from? It is cold. Like the end of the earth. How about these? Ah, uh, we. Oui. Yeah. They should sell high in San Francisco. Ah, uh, with the rest of the money you saved for me. I'll be a rich man, huh? Rich, almost like you. Enough money to buy a new rifle. Enough money to buy myself a woman, too. Hey, Baptiste. <laughs> <laughs> Rightful. Good. Rightful. Rightful good. She's a man's best friend. Better than a woman, almost. Thanks, sir. Maybe I have a woman, too, huh? The captain's woman. <laughs> Cost a lot of money. <laughs> I have money. You got money? Yes! Oui! You'll have bet I got money! <laughs> After paying for the trap and for the rifle, maybe money for two women. Or maybe one woman. <laughs> you don't believe me? No! <laughs> Listen to me. When Jean Labaite say he has money, he has money. I'll never be able to play this thing, never! All right, Sarah, you may read for us now. Yes, Mother. You must find someone to give you lessons. Perhaps the captain can bring a teacher back with him on his next trip. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy... Who's that? 
<laughs> hey, my friend, I was looking for you. I want my money. How dare you come bursting in here like this? By God. I wish I had a woman like you. Next year, next year when I have a woman like you, maybe I buy one of these too. Huh? Sarah, go upstairs at once. Maybe I buy you, and you bring it with you. Now, who are you? What do you want? My money. I come to get it. But you don't need it tonight. The Canuck Baptiste. He called me liar. You will see, no? What money? What does he mean? I can tell him you have it. It's the same thing. No. Oh, no, Canuck, like Baptiste, believe only with their eyes. Oh, he's drunk. Give him what he wants and get rid of him. What are you doing? That's ours. I know what I'm doing. But that's for our passage to San Francisco. That's next year. One thousand dollars, and that includes today's furs. But you can't do it! <laughs> Now that Canuck can eat his words, hmm? huh? He will see that I have enough money to buy a woman. You are a good friend. <laughs> 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 Little rabbit. <laughs> to say for yourself? The money was his. I had to give it back to him. He left it with me for safekeeping. I was told he was dead. But you've given him gold from our own savings. You'll have to make it up first thing tomorrow morning. I can't make it up. What do you mean you can't make it up? I mean that all the money we have is there. What are you talking about? There's money at the trading post. The safe's empty. Empty? But you'll be paid for your first tomorrow. Yes, with money I owe already. But you can borrow, you can get credit. Credit? I have no more credit. Understand? None. Our only chance to get out of here and you've given it away to a filthy trapper. The money was his. To an animal. A wild animal. I may be many things, but I am not a thief. And what about Sarah? How is she ever going to find a decent husband now? There are men here as good as any of the men in San Francisco. He? Go. Well, sell that damn thing. Never. We have a right to nice things. We have a right to something.
wait here. <laughs> the water's cold. Last night you said you wanted a woman. If you wait for the captain to bring you one, it'll take a year. You know that, don't you? I can get you one today. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? She's never been to prison. She's not the kind of trash the captain brings up here. And she's never known another man. You can have her if you take her away now. Her parents were killed in an Indian raid ten years ago. My husband found her and brought her home to live with us. What's your name, little rabbit? Speak to me. I'm talking to you! She can't speak. Shock. But she's a good, strong girl. She cooks well and she sews, too. Her name's Eve. Eight thousand dollars for a woman who can't talk. That's a lot of money. Better than a woman who talks too much. Huh? Here, take. Tell me that song. My mother. The carriage and horse is all white, all white. And she'll have diamond and pearls and pearls. And she will have diamond and pearls. Get wood. Bill Far over there. Save up from wolf, bear, wild cat.
Omal. Why you not eat? Indians say, bear meat good for a woman. Help make good children. Here. Eat! Not dangerous. Unless with cub.
inside. Make fire. <laughs> Woman, here, chop wood. I get some meat. On here to keep the snow out, and a bait here, and a nail into hole in the tree. The Mardian run up the pole across the trap to get the meat. He's caught. <laughs> Lynn's got poor smell. But eyes like a hawk. Here. When he sees the wing flapping, he's wondering what's happened. So he come across, he sees fat old bird, and smell here the old perfume made from rotten dead fish. Then, wanting dinner, he step over these sticks here. You see they're crossed. He must put his foot across the top. Little rabbit. Deer come here every day. Always use the same path, like sheep. So wolf come here too, looking for sheep who is sick or hurt, maybe. Fat here, then the blade. Put the blade in the fat. 
When the wolf bite the fat, he got his tongue, so he howl loud, and the other wolves hear him, so they come quick. Then they smell the blood, tear him to pieces, then each other. Sometime maybe one lump of fat will kill five wolves. That good for me. Don't have to kill so many. Sprung. Bait have gone. Now he's in some cave somewhere laughing at us. <sighs> Jean Lebet's still smarter than him, though. First, more bait. Up there in the tree, not on the ground where fox and wolf can steal him first. Here. Here! I'm on tight. Come on, woman. By the time you finish all that and be down here, eat the bait, the trap, fox, you and me. Soon I teach you everything about trapping. Then you won't need Jean Lebet no more, hmm? That would make a surprise for old Adam Bear. Put all this small trap around the big one. Here, see? Then the old bear come down the path, put his foot in the small trap. Bang, he's caught. So he does a dance round here to get his toe loose. He forget the big one. He step back, boom. This winter that damn old bear will find out who run the forest. Woman? Woman, come here! What's the matter? All right, then, damn woman, stay here for Koga Bear and Wolf to eat. Here, take this. Go home now. Follow Mark on trees. If we'll follow. Bar gone. Hurry now before the dark come. Soon we have big snow.
wouldn't make good home. Trapper no good. You come with the yellow dog. Indian better! Make more children than white man! Seen big house once in San Francisco. With a thousand lights hanging like like one big bunch of grapes and a branch on the ceiling. The man who owned this house smoked cigar. A diamond here in his bed front, not buttoned. What do you think of that, huh? Diamond here. This man was was friend of my father. Well, my father knew him once back in Quebec. Before the man had diamond. That's where we come from. Or back. After my mother died, I was I was this big. There was no work, so when my father went trapping, one day he went out to trap line. I don't come back. I got cold and hungry waiting for him. After a week. So I mean, you can come by, take me away. You taught me everything I teach you. 
<laughs> well, Squire, she used to take me in her bed each night. She smelled bad here from Bear Grease, that old Squire. Why don't you keep me warm? <laughs> Here. What little ship make you feel heavy? <laughs> See, from Quebec. Every year, my mother used to make Christmas tree. One year, I found this hanging from branch. After Christmas dinner, everyone would dance. My father, mother, me, everyone. Like this. Like to laugh and dance? Tell me you. Put that down. What sort of a woman are you? Well, maybe you're not a woman! Maybe you're all about paid a thousand dollars for nothing. Maybe. Maybe he bought a coast of wood, huh? What is this if a woman is a coarse to go wood, huh? Tell me that. And that! What use this table for only two people, huh? What use this woman when she is not a woman, huh? When she don't keep man bed warm at night? When she don't laugh with him at night and make children? Tell me that! With eyes like Trap Rabbit. Every night the same thing. Why you stare? I should have let Breed have you. They don't take no for a woman.
Oh, stop. Why don't you come out for food, huh? Resume, Crow. Blue Jay. Have full bellies, not you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Get skin. Rub it. Tomorrow, you must get help. There are Indians two days away. There are medicine man. He know how to mend. Mend bone.
回事儿Please, I re reach here. We must chop the leg off. You are afraid. I also am afraid. But I would rather live than die, little woman. I'll get more rabbit skin and some. All right, woman, you want me to die? You won't have to worry about Jean Abed getting drunk no more. Oh. It was good here. The Lord and he. When you finish, get hot coal from fire and burn the wound. in rabbit skin. You must do this all. Good axe. All right, Omar. You want me to chop leg by myself?
at a stool. There. Man with one leg should look good in San Francisco. If help me.
I'll take me a wife. We'll live on a house on the hill, the hill. With a carriage and horses all white, all white. You'll have diamond and pearl. And she will have diamond and pearl. Tomorrow you can get the ones from the other valley. Those geese are smart. Smarter than us, I think. They only come here when the snow is gone. Now, last winter... Last winter was very long. Talk. Sometimes all of it forget you have a name. Eve? It's a good name, too. If it were not for Eve, snow come and, and the cabin froze. Then she was there to keep him warm. And to feed him. Charlotte could now not live without you. What is wrong? If? If? What's the matter? Woman! Woman, listen! I'm not some Indian who tried to take your mother! Come back! 
When we got her home, she lay abed another two months, still as death. It was like something in her heart had gone dead. Something we couldn't touch. Then she lost the child she was carrying. We nearly lost her, too. I never thought we'd see her wed. Ah, oh, poor child. The wife's making her wedding dress. The least she can do, I guess. can't believe it. This time tomorrow, we'll be starting a whole new life together, you and me. And one day, one day you just watch, we'll have a big white house on Knob Hill with a chandelier to hang in every room. We will. You'll see. I love you, Evie. Thank you. 
see. Have you ever really shot it? I mean, really, at a bear or something like that? Oh, I bet you have. And I bet you lived in a real log cabin, too, didn't you? Just you and him, all alone in the middle of the forest. That must be how you lived. And it must have been terribly cold, too. I bet it was, wasn't it? What on earth did you eat? I mean, you can't eat raw meat all the time. That's enough. But suppose he comes right in the middle of the preacher marrying them. He won't be coming. Is he really dead, Evie, is he? I said that's enough. Perhaps she killed him herself. Did you, Evie? Please let us know. I mean, nobody would blame you, not for killing him. They Tara, don't. that will do. But I want to know. Did you kill him, Evie? Please let us know. Did you, did you, did you, did and you? you be quiet. My husband will come and fetch you in a few minutes. Is she all right? All right. Well, you know how women are, getting married and all the... She didn't tell me. Is she ready? Yes. Good. Well, uh, come along then, ladies. Eve, they're waiting for us. Evie? Sell well in San Francisco. Go. Clean the house.